thing. Welcome back. Uh, beginner series again. This time for the maracas. We did the last one for uh, Guido. This one is for maracas. I'm trying to get all the percussion instruments in so that you can have an understanding of, you know, beginning understanding of all the instruments that we play. So you can start playing them. And if you're with your friends on Zoom now or whatever in today's uh, situation, you guys can play together. One guy plays an instrument. Maraca, guiro, conga, bongo, timbal. I'm trying to do in the beginning series a little bit just so you can start playing each instrument and you can play it in a percussion ensemble. These are the maracas. These are played um, Afro-Cuban style, okay? And salsa or song or, um, or guaracha, guajira. These come from more of the song traditional like bolero, meaning the slow ballads, kind of that kind of tradition. And the singer plays them all the time. I'm not that great at them. I survived playing them. I learned how to play them because I used to have to play them with an orchestra because I was singing coro. In the orchestra, I was singing the chorus. And then when you sing the chorus, a lot of times the singers, they want you to play guido, maraca. I was a timbalero and a conguero. I, you know, I, you know, I said, okay, well, I got to do what I got to do. Because they needed me for coro at that time, so I had to learn how to play the instrument. Picked it up and play and learned how to play it. It wasn't hard for me because of my childhood hearing it, you know, my parents and my brothers and, and stuff playing music uh, that had maracas in it. So it wasn't hard. I'm going to teach you the basic, basic way. And think of it, again, we're counting, right? So think of it in quarter notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right there you're playing. So if you're playing to a tune like I was at the beginning of this video, I was just doing a little more, a little action to it. Now you're gonna see, you're gonna see that I was playing it like one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. The ands, the upbeats, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Right there, I guess it, it, it's nicer the way you do it that way. And it has a, it adds a little bit of an accent when you play it that way. I'm crossing them, but some people don't do that. I can't even do it that way. Me, I'm used to crossing them. It does add a little bit of accent, but probably more visual than anything else. Okay, so that's all it really is. If you play one, just snap it so you get the downbeat. Right? But remember, when you do that, you're also going to get a beat coming back. That's how we do what they call the forero, or the, the, the kind of like a riff in between, triplets. Because you're getting a sound coming back with this instrument. There's beads in here that will make the sound coming towards you and going away. Get it? That's how we're gonna do that little riff that you saw in the beginning of the video. A triplet feel, okay? You can do it with the left hand or the right hand. I think most most, hey, the, guy, the real guys who do this, the good guys who do this, the singers, I think they mostly do it in their left hand. Me, I think I, I might have been doing it on my right hand in the beginning of the video.
Yeah, right there I was doing it with my right hand. Before I was doing it with my left hand. I say practice it, practice it both ways. Why not? You know, you'll be good on either side. Okay, so practice it both ways. What it is is... It's hard to do it slow. But if you notice, I'm doing it in my right hand there. It's hard to do it slower, but I was doing it in my right hand there. If you notice, the left hand is just going. And this one is doing the, the double or triplet. Now I'm just doing Eight more, three, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. That's it. Now you can get crazy, but this is a beginner video. You can get crazy and do some really, I've seen guys do amazing stuff with this instrument. When you think it's just a, a, a child's instrument that they give a baby a little maraca when they're, when they're a baby. But this is a professional instrument. These are actually uh, were made for me by a, 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 a Colombian company. And they're beautiful, beautiful, handmade. These are made from skins, raw hides, and then they're painted. These are quite old. I've had these for uh, 20 years. I must have had these for maybe more. The paint is coming off, but these are beautiful. These are a little more difficult to play because they don't have that much of a handle. If you go and buy a raw hide pair or a plastic pair, the plastic players are are great also. I would get them with a little longer of a handle because you have, now you have more room to move them around, to snap them. You have more room to move them around. Later on, I'll do another video with a little more, a little more Florero, but this is just a beginner video. Go get yourself a pair if you don't have them uh, many of the companies make them. They have a wooden handle and they have a rawhide head, right? And they got the beads in the inside. They're not expensive. You can get a good pair for like $25, okay? A great, and there's different companies. I'll put, I'll put some in the, uh, in the description below where you can get a good pair of these for not expensive. Okay, guys, um, enjoy this instrument. We'll get back to them another time, but for now, this is a good beginner video for this particular instrument. Play them with your records. Right now, play them with, put the old records on, put the slower records on so you can learn. Play them with the records, play them with the radio. And if you have some laying at home, now you can put these things to use that you never used them before. You have a little something to put them to use. Okay, guys, until the next video, be more beginner series is beginner series. We'll be doing, there'll be enough beginner videos for you to play a little bit of timbales, a little bit of conga, bongo, maraca, guido, enough so that you can get all those Latin percussion ensemble instruments in so that you can start playing with a group of your friends or play to records or what have you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Until the next video.